Hi, um, Ivan here. So as you can see, I'm actually standing uh, near my house. There is actually a field here. You can see the light and uh, it's a total darkness. What I have with me here is um, two lights. Yes, you can't see it yet because, uh, well, it's dark and uh, that's the whole purpose. Um, on the left here, as you can see my finger, uh, this is uh, the MJ 808 and uh, and this one is a button for the uh, MJ816. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it on. Uh, the lights is not aligned yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch it on. Uh, 808. You can immediately see. This is uh, 808. Right. And uh, you can see the throw is actually pretty decent. Uh, there's a basketball court there. Right. So you can see that up to 20 meters, um, the light is still really bright. Okay, and um, I'm gonna switch it off. And uh, I'm gonna switch on the, eight, the 816. And here you go. All right, it's not lying. You can see the, the uh, The 816, uh, I switch on the two side lights just now, you can see. Right, this is the 816 uh, on high beam. Okay, you can see where it actually stops. Now I'm going to switch on the uh, 808 and uh, you can compare the intensity. Right, the 808 um, is definitely uh, having a much uh, stronger beam. And uh, further through, never mind that it's hazy tonight. Okay, so you can see that the uh, the claim uh, 1004 lumens are actually uh, losing out to the uh, 808, which is actually a 900 lumens light. Right, I'm walking away from my bicycle. I'm actually uh, going closer uh, to the what I call that, uh, to the basketball court. Right. And you can uh, clearly see how bright the light is. This is uh, almost about 50 meters. Right? 50 meters to the basketball court. I'm actually letting the bicycle light, light it up. This is actually the basketball court as you can see. This, this is the ring. And uh, those are the lights. Impressive, huh? And this is almost about 100 meters already. Okay, so for 100 meters, both the lights are actually flooding uh, the darkness of the field, and uh, it's quite obvious uh, that the intensity of the 808 is uh, way much higher. Most of it because it's actually newer. So right now, what is going to happen? I'm going to switch on the two small light, or the two side light of the uh, 816. Right. So right now you have three lights going on, and you can actually see that compared to the 808. Um, he actually floods better, right? This is just the uh, 816, right? And it's 808. And you can actually see how how much difference one look like. Uh, this one here looks something like uh, what do you call uh, about 4,000 tree, and this one looks almost like 5,000 uh, Kelvin color. Okay, impressive, right? If you were to ask me, uh, frankly speaking, I think the 808 uh, win in a penetration and the uh, 816 actually win uh, with the spread. Alright, I'll switch it off and you know instantly what I meant. You can see that the 808 does not have a very good uh, spread of light, right? But the
816 together all the three switch on together it actually give you a much better uh, flight actually right so if you ask me who's going to be the winner to be very frank with you I think it's a draw and uh, if you can afford it it's actually to have both the likes uh, working for you and uh, how is that going to happen is uh, actually by having uh, the one the 816 uh, as your handlebar light and the uh, 808 um, as your helmet light so in that way um, your immediate uh, 20 meters is actually illuminated um, in the darkness and uh, you are using your helmet, uh, your, your helmet light uh, to so called uh, point to where you are actually going right so I think I think that's the best compromise right okay thank you